Okay, I've been very busy, so I haven't made a video uh, in a while, but uh, I wanted to talk about the Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson fight. Uh, I think Tyson demolished him. I really do. And I think that they were going to call it a draw no matter what at the end of it because neither one looked surprised. Mike Tyson said, I'm good with it. Like Instantly when they asked him, that's what he instantly said. But uh, he definitely beat Roy Jones Jr. I'm a boxing fan. I've seen hundreds of fights. There's no way in nobody's world did Roy Jones Jr. win that fight which to me surprised me because I thought Roy Jones was going to win it because he was active only like, I don't know, a few years ago. But I guess I was wrong. I guess Tyson was in great shape. Uh, Tyson makes a lot more money than Roy. He probably could afford better, uh, you know, uh, trainers and, you know, better supplements and stuff like that. And he definitely was a better fighter when he fought. I mean, Roy Jones was great, but he wasn't like Mike Tyson great. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of great fighters in a lightweight division, but it's harder to be a great heavyweight fighter, in my opinion, because the guys are so strong. One little nick on the top of the head and you're knocked out. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard to be that heavy and be that good of a fighter. See what I'm saying? People are like, oh, the... The uh, heavyweights are slower. They're not as good pound for pound. It's just not the truth. I mean, don't, we're talking about who's who's in better shape. Yeah, it's the lightweights. But when you're that heavy, when you're like over 200 pounds, I mean, you would have to be like at least, you know, you, I don't know. But it's just, it's harder to be that fast and stuff like that when you're that tall, you know. So I don't know, but. Maybe that doesn't make too much sense, but uh, a lot of heavyweight boxers are overweight. They're heavier than they should be, and it's harder to fight that way. But you're fighting against bigger, heavier dudes, so you have to be that way a lot of times. You have to be heavy. And anyone knows lighter, lighter fighters almost always beat the heavy guy. The fat guy almost always loses. So when you're that heavy, it's hard to be a good fighter. I don't know, which doesn't make any sense because he's fighting Roy Jones, but now they're the same weight pretty much. So uh, Mike Tyson just, man, I mean, I just didn't think his tactics would work against a lightweight guy because I figured he'd be too fast for Tyson to dodge his punches like he used to dodge all those big guys, but it just didn't work out that way. And Everybody said Mike Tyson was going to win, you know, Teddy Atlas, everybody, but I just didn't believe him, you know, but uh, I guess I got proved wrong, so, but, uh, so if you didn't watch the fight, you have to watch it. Don't just watch this video and say, oh, it was a draw, so you don't know what you're talking about. You have to watch the fight. If you watch the fight, you'll see Mike Tyson destroyed Roy Jones. I mean, Mike Tyson landed about 200 shots. Roy Jones only landed about 25 shots. I mean, that's how lopsided it was. So it was going to be called a draw no matter what. So because it was all for charity, it wasn't serious, you know. So uh, anyways, though, so uh, there you go. There's my opinion. Uh, definitely watch the fight. Go in there and type in Tyson versus Jones full fight. And it, I watched the one. There's one that's 24 minutes and like, 13 seconds or something like that. That's the one that's the full version, you know. Uh, so they cut out the commentary in between rounds, but Snoop Dogg was very one-sided. I like Snoop Dogg. He sings good, but he was really rooting for Roy Jones. And then and the Nate Robinson fight seemed like he was really rooting for Nate Robinson, you know. So if you're a, if you're a sportscaster, you have to be unbiased. You know, you have to be in the middle. But... uh it doesn't matter. He, he knows a lot about sports. He made a lot of good points, you know. But uh, anyways, though, so uh, that's my opinion. Uh, I was really surprised by Tyson. Really surprised. I mean, he looked really good. I, I don't, I'd like to see, if he fights another heavyweight, though, that's going to be a different story. Like, if he fights Holyfield, that might be a different story. But wouldn't that be some sweet serenity, some sweet, revenge if Mike Tyson fights Holyfield again and beats him this time.
think about that. But uh, yeah, he should fight some other guys, you know, uh, if they're willing to, you know. So, uh, all right, then, well, uh, that's my opinion. Thank you very much.